This is the Misfit Vegan Podcast, episode 59. Okay, the truth is, is that I just recorded a podcast and deleted it because I started talking about someone that used to be in my life that I loved very much, that I really cared for, and um, I thought was like one of my soulmates, and um, I uh, I just got personal, and I just got scared that they might be listening, and um, had to delete it. And so I want you to know that it's not easy for me to put myself out there, okay? And um, I'm going to try to be myself, be authentic, but sometimes I think about people in my life that are not in my life anymore that I still love very, very, very much. And um, I'm human and, you know, not everything can be out there. Not everything is for the public. Um, I mean, I don't mind, but I don't know if they want... Like, I'm trying to respect everyone's... Um, I'm trying to respect people. Um, even, even, even though... Listen, listen. Guys, you can love someone deeply. You can love someone to the core of your soul, the core of your being, and still choose to say goodbye. I don't think you understand that that is possible. I learned that the hard way. I thought that if you love someone, and I I can't spend the whole episode talking about it because then I'll just delete this episode, okay? I'm not going to mention any names, But I thought that if you loved someone, that you had to take care of them and you had to be there for them and you had to, um, you know, make them do any, whatever it took to make them happy. I thought that that was my job here on earth. If I loved you and you were a loved one, that it was my job to make you happy take care of you um, provide for you give you money to pay your bills buy whatever you needed like what the fuck was wrong with me my whole fucking life (laughs) until just a few years ago and um, yeah I mean listen I was raised take care of myself and take care of my family okay I was the breadwinner of the house I was the only responsible person I was pretty much the father in my house so of course I'm going to grow up and be extremely masculine and even though I obviously look feminine but that doesn't mean that I am on the inside on the inside I thought I was the man in every relationship I've been in, and I've only been in one relationship. I've only been in one relationship, but um, every every friendship too, every friendship, every business partnership, I wasn't showing up as my self, which is a fruity goddess woman, okay? The divine feminine. There is... A difference. Let's not even get into it because I don't want to get canceled. I don't want to remind you guys there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference between a man and a woman. And I'm not saying that women cannot do things that men can do and men cannot do things that women can do. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, in my experience, I had no business being the man in my relationship, okay? There's different roles. A woman is not supposed 
to take care of a man in the way that I was. Okay? I was buying everything, not just for my my boyfriend, but for my friends, my best friend who was a guy. Okay? I was paying for everything always because I made a lot of money and I and they didn't and so I paid for everything and I took care of everything and I was always trying to make everyone happy and I was suffering inside and I was sacrificing my own happiness the things I wanted to do okay (laughs) I wanted to go to the Woodstock Fruit Festival since 2012 and it took me five years because I wasn't allowed to go. What the fuck? I wanted to go to Atlanta, Georgia, to the Brenda Cobb Raw Food Academy Culinary School, okay? I had a lot of dreams to go there. I had a lot of, um, a lot of dreams. What am I saying? Sorry, I'm tired. I had big plans of going there, okay? I wasn't allowed to go. I really, really, really wanted to go to the Hippocrates Institute. Couldn't do it. Wasn't allowed to. What the fuck? And there was a lot more things that I wanted to do. You guys don't even know what I've been through with this fucking person. Okay? And, um... I mean... (laughs) I really don't give a shit who's listening to this. But yeah, my ex-boyfriend, wow, wow. I can't believe what kind of, like, spell I was under. And that's because I had extremely low self-esteem. I didn't know who I was. I didn't know that I was attractive. I didn't know that anybody would ever want to be with me, ever ever because I somewhere along the line in childhood I convinced myself keyword here ladies because by the way I looked at the analytics 92% of the people that listen to this podcast are women hi boo (laughs) I wow that's amazing so I mean I'm talking to you right now boo queen fucking royalty I'm talking to you, all right? Somewhere along the road, as a child, I convinced myself that I was worthless, that I was nothing, that I wasn't good enough, that I didn't deserve anything or anyone. And so the first person I met that was vegan, after I went vegan... Okay, um, I was like immediately just like, and they seemed to like me. Okay, immediately my boyfriend. Not immediately, you know, we were friends for six months. But I'm saying we had no business being together. We were not compatible. Okay, you know that you're not compatible with somebody when you just, when you can't be yourself and when you... I'm not an expert here. Why am I trying to be an expert on this? I should just talk about fruit. What the fuck, Jeanette? But seriously, if you can't be 100% yourself with someone, 100% yourself, that is not who you should be with. I think about Awa and me, my best friend. Um, I can be 100% myself with her. Yeah, I know in her 15 years, so that helps, obviously, right? I trust her. I know her. I know her intentions, okay? I know she wants the best for me, no matter what. No matter what that means for her. That's a very rare, very rare person to find. So I suggest you go to audio engineer school, and you know, I don't know how you find an AWA, but basically... Um, I know that she wants the best for me, without a doubt, okay? 
And I know, and she, we've never had one fight once in 15 years of friendship. We've never had one fight. And we're very different. We're very different. Okay? We're almost opposites. She is water. I am fire. I am very, very intense. Okay? You pr- can't really tell on this podcast because I'm always recording right as soon as I wake up and right before I go to bed. But... I'm a little intense between, between waking up and going to bed. Um, and, uh, yeah, um, I, uh, she's not, I'm very, very intense. I'm a hundred, I'm zero or a hundred and she's like 50, 50, you know, she's like a normal person, but yet she's not, she's a fucking weirdo. But um, she's cool, calm, and collected, very predictable, very calm, and very, very, very easy to be around, and very easy to talk to, and very, when I said predictable, I mean, like, um, she's not insane, like me. She's not out of control, just, just really... If you guys knew the kind of shit that I put Awa through, like not drama. Uh, no, 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 no. We don't have drama. We don't fight. We don't have that. I'm saying just nonsense, just disgusting, fruity craziness that I do in this house sometimes. You would really be concerned for Awa. She has been through a lot with me. I've destroyed her car. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, I have actually destroyed her car. I owe her a new car. That's why I'm working so hard, guys. I got to buy Awa a new car because my stickiness, my fruity life has completely destroyed her car. Anyway, uh, what was the point? Um, I never know. Well, I was talking about how women are watching this, are listening, mostly women. And I appreciate that. I really appreciate you, boo for listening to this and um I guess I just want to leave you with um because I had no agenda for this podcast today sometimes I have an agenda I want to oh sorry I want to provide value in some way possible but what's on my heart right now is to let you know that you are good enough And if you're in a toxic relationship or even just a no man's land relationship, which is what I I call a relationship that is not for you, okay? Like, you know if someone is the one. I hate saying that. It's so dumb. There's so many ones out there. There's so many people you can be compatible with and that you are compatible with. But you know when you're not. Because you can't be yourself. And being yourself doesn't mean being a jerk, by the way. Okay? I am myself 100% around Awa, but I'm not an asshole to her. I'm not going to ever do anything to disrespect her or be mean to her on purpose. Okay? Yeah, there's some things that I do, and she lets me know, hey, I don't, you know, there's some things I do, and I'm not going to say what's personal to her. It's not my place. But within your friendships, within your relationships, you got to be able to be yourself. And if you offend someone, or you're too much for someone, and they love you, they're going to find a nice way, a nice way to say that that specific thing is just something that is not um within their boundaries okay i want to give an example (sighs) i'm tired so i'm just gonna go to sleep but um yeah that's it um i just wish that i could wake up every single beautiful queen out there that is that is not aware of their 
greatness and their worth and their potential and it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter what you look like or what you don't look like or how much you weigh or how much you don't weigh or whatever oh my god if you only knew how much you have to offer Everyone that comes into contact with you is so blessed to know you and you don't even know. Another thing, oof, this is on my mind right now because, mm, so I have a support group call every single Monday. It's a Zoom actually and it's called the Healthy Vegan Support Group and it's women only And, um, it's a really, it's an amazing group of women that I'm so blessed to know. And if you're listening to this and you're part of it, thank you so much for being a part of it. So tonight, you know, we're, we just finished the Louise Hay, you can heal your body. You can heal your life. You can heal your life, right? I don't know. I'm tired. Um, I gotta go to bed seriously in less than four minutes, but, um, we just finished that. And, um, I think, sorry, I think I'm going to read it again. I need it. I need it. But anyway, at the very end, she tells her story. Louise Hay tells her story and she talks about looking at, and she talks about accepting and loving your entire body, even your butthole. Okay. All right. What's close to your butthole your vagina that's why i thought of it so this tonight we were reading the book or like we were talking about the book and i was like you know what ladies it's time it is time and i challenged everyone and i gave everyone homework and the homework is that you have to put a mirror on the floor oh here's the kicker ladies you have to put a mirror and i'm gonna ask you to do this okay I want you to put a mirror on the floor. Get a mirror, some type of mirror, preferably the size of your hand. Put it on the floor, and then I want you to squat and say hello to your vagina. Yep, you heard me. I want you to look in the mirror at your vagina, dead on, straight in the eye, and I want you to say, I love you. Oof. The first time you do this, mm, mm, mm. this is going to be one of the hardest things you've ever done. And I don't know why it is so incredibly, ridiculously hard for us. I don't know why. I don't, I know literally two women that can do this and, and are very comfortable with doing this. Actually, I know a few more. A few more because you know I, I, I've been going to Woodstock for a few years so I know a lot of really like forward thinking amazing hippies that you know they could do this stuff they accept that they accept and love themselves 100% but mostly I I know people that th- they would they could not even dream of doing this and I challenge everyone listening <sighs> I challenge you to please do that please it's going to be so hard in the beginning but everything's hard before you know how to do it please consider looking at your vagina and sending it love it is a part of you it is a beautiful part of your body it's like hating your it's like hating your pinky why would you do that look at your vagina just like you look at a part of your body that you love If you can love one part of your body, you can send love to your beautiful, amazing vagina. Ladies, the time has come for us to know how beautiful we are, inside and out, from our head to our vagina, to our toes, okay? 
It's time. It's time. You're gonna have to accept it. I'm sorry. Sorry. You shouldn't be so goddamn beautiful. It's not my fault. It's your fault. You're the one who's beautiful. So why don't you start accepting it? It's time, baby. And by the way, it gets easier. Yeah, you're gonna look at your vagina and you're gonna be horrified because you've never seen this part of your body before. And and you know what? It might look a little strange to you. It might look a little weird. It might not be perfect. It might be a little, um, what's the word? What's the word that Awa used in our podcast? Um, um, asymmetrical. It might not be perfect. It might not. Actually, it probably is not going to be. But it's a part of you. And it's good enough, and it's beautiful, and it's perfect the way it is. You are enough. You are enough. I want you to just repeat that a hundred times today. I am enough. Because somewhere along our life, someone convinced us, and maybe it was us, maybe we convinced ourselves that we were not good enough. You know, maybe because you didn't have a father... Maybe you didn't have a mother. Maybe you didn't, um, maybe kids made fun of you at school. Maybe you didn't have many friends. Maybe you, um, were overweight as a kid. Maybe you had really bad acne as a kid. By the way, these are all the things that I dealt with. I didn't think that anybody wanted me. Of course, I grew up and I found someone that didn't want me. (laughs) And I had to, like, I was the one, this is so insane, and I'll, trust me, I'm over this, I'll never do this again, but I was the one that was like lucky to be with them, and I would do anything to keep them in my life and keep this relationship. What? No, that is just absolutely insane. Boo, you are the prize. You are the fucking prize. And I don't give a shit what your man looks like, how much money he has, how successful he has. You are the prize. How successful he has? Let me end this podcast. I am just so tired. There is no reason for me to be doing this right now. I love you. Please take the challenge. I want you to look at your vagina every day for the next seven days. And not just look at it in horror. No, no. I want you to say... I love you. In fact, right now, put your hand. First, put your hand on a part of your body that you don't like. Put your hand. Guys, you do this too. Put your hand on a part of your body that you don't like. I don't know why, but guys do not have this hard of a time. As far as I know, I'm not a man. But I don't know anyone that has more hate for their own body than women i swear and it's just really gotta stop guys women girls i'm talking to girls okay put your hand on a part of your body that you don't like and i want you to send it love and i want you to say i love you i love you i love you i love you i want you to say i'm sorry Please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I want you to repeat this over and over and over. Maybe I did this already during one of the podcasts, the Hope and Open No meditation. I don't know if I did it or not. It, we're 60 episodes in. I love you. Please forgive me. Thank you. I'm sorry. Those are the four terms that I want you to repeat over and over again with a part of, to a part of your body that you've always been hating and sending negativity, negativity and hate to, okay? Also, I want you to do that with your vagina. I want you to put your hand on your vagina now. Sorry, guys. You can put your hand on your penis, sure. I'm sure you already are. I'm just kidding. Um, 
want you to put your hand in your vagina and you know what next time you're masturbating oh i should do a whole episode about masturbation (laughs) that'll get some ratings that'll get more guys listening although there's like two guys listening and i'm pretty sure i know them so anyway what's up boo um (laughs) i call everyone boo so just calm down don't take it personal you're not my boo but you my boo, you know what I'm saying? Okay, um, put your hand on your vagina and I want you to say the same thing. I love you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You know, the more love that you send to a part of your body, the more beautiful it becomes. It's absolutely incredible. I started loving my hair I started sending love to my hair and really loving it. And you know what? It's starting to grow for the first time in my life. And yeah, I've done some things. I started taking probiotics. I've been doing handstands for years. I've been doing... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been doing reflexology for years for my hair. I've been getting massages, scalp massages, Oh my God, I have a massage on Wednesday with my, with my woman finally, um, because I've been going to this Asian place for a while, but my woman is finally coming back to my house because I'm, I used to get massages in my house all the time. We have a massage table, obviously, and, um, I haven't seen her in a while and I'm so fucking excited. She is a healer. She is a true angel on earth Mm -mm. and I'm excited. Um, and so, oh, what was I talking about? Masturbating. Um, I'll do a whole episode on that. Why not? But, um, yeah, for now, I just want to leave you with that. Please, please, please don't miss the opportunity. You're listening to this for a reason, boo. You're listening to this for a reason. You're supposed to love yourself. And the more you love yourself and the more love you send to a part of your body, the more beautiful it will become. When you change The way, wait, I gotta say this right. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Yeah, I knew that. I was just tired. Okay, boo, I love you. I love you so much. And I love every single part of you. It's beautiful. You are enough. I love you. Good night.